A population of rabbits oscillates 60 above and 60 below average during the year, hitting the lowest value in January, which is when t equals zero. The average population starts at 750 rabbits and increases by 100 each year. We want to find an equation for the population p in terms of t, which is the number of months since January. So our equation will have two parts. We'll have a trig equation for the part that oscillates 60 above and 60 below average during the course of a year. And then we'll have a linear part for the population that starts at 750 and increases by 100 each year. Let's begin by focusing on just the oscillation part, which will be a trig function. Because the population oscillates over 12 months, the period of the trig function would be 12. So we should have one complete graph of the trig function starting at t equals zero to t equals 12. And because the population oscillates 60 above to 60 below, our graph will resemble the cosine function, which we see graphed here. For a quick review, if we take a look at the basic cosine function on the interval from zero to two pi, one period, if we divide the period into four equal parts, there's a distinct pattern. It starts at a maximum value, then it goes to the midline, then to a minimum, then to the midline, and then back to a maximum. So looking at our information, notice how we're told it hits the lowest value at t equals zero, which would be negative 60. So our graph will not start at a maximum, it'll actually start at a minimum here. Which means our cosine function would have a reflection across the x-axis but it's still going to be helpful if we divide this period into four equal parts. So from zero to 12 is the period. Divide this in half and then in half again. And now we can follow a similar pattern as the basic cosine function, except we have a reflection across the x-axis. So we'll go from a minimum to the midline to a maximum of 60, back to the midline, and then back to a minimum. So the graph of the oscillation part of our equation would look something like this. So now let's find the equation of this trig part of our equation. Remember the absolute value of A is the amplitude. So our amplitude is 60, but because we have a reflection across the x-axis, that means A would be equal to negative 60. And now because our period is equal to 12, remember B affects the period of our function where two pi divided by B equals the period. So if we have two pi divided by B equals 12, our period, we can solve this to find B. If we cross multiply, we'd have 12B equals two pi, divide both sides by 12, and we have b equals pi six, which means the trig part of our equation would be y equals negative 60 times cosine of pi divided by six times our input variable, which is t. Let's take this equation back to the first slide and add the second part of our equation, which would be the linear growth. So the population p of t would be equal to the oscillation part of the equation, which we just found, negative 60 times cosine of pi divided by six times t, plus the linear growth that starts at 750 and increases by 100 each year. So if it starts at 750, that would be the y-intercept of the linear part of the equation. So we'd have 750 plus the slope times the input variable, which is t. And since t is the number of months, the slope is not going to be 100 because that's 100 per year. The growth per month would be 100 divided by 12. So 100 divided by 12 times t. So here's our oscillation part. Here's our starting population. And here's the linear growth, again, per month, not per year. So the last step here would be to simplify 100 twelfths these two share a common factor of four. This simplifies to 25 thirds. So the population equation is P of T 
equals negative 60 times cosine of pi divided by 6 times t plus 750 plus 25 thirds t. Let's finish by looking at the graph of this function. Notice how this does look somewhat linear, but it does have an oscillation in it as well because the population oscillates 60 above and 60 below the average during the year. So again, this looks somewhat linear, but it has an oscillation above and below the basic linear growth. I hope you found this explanation helpful.